This is Alan Farley from FX Empire. Let's take a look at this week's top stocks, ETFs, and crypto to watch. First up is Bitcoin, which sold off uh, overnight in the United States on Friday night. It was a pretty intense decline down below the 41, uh, excuse me, 42,000 level. It bounced immediately and settled right around 49,000 ahead of the start of the new trading week. Uh, it's now uh, Sunday morning here in the United States. Now, I don't think it's going to get much higher. We do have this 200-day uh, moving average, which was broken. It was broken pretty substantially by that decline. As you can see, it acted as a support right here. It's acted as support right here. Now, I think we got a problem. Uh, in addition, as you can see, the sell-off cut through this uh, support level here by carving this inverse head and shoulders pattern, excuse me, inverse cup and handle pattern. Here's the uh, cup and here's the handle. So we have uh, resistance right here at 53,000. It also broke this trend line. And once again, we have resistance between 50 and 53,000. Now it did settle uh, above the 786 retracement of this uh, rally wave, and that's good. And I think support is really centered right around 46,000 here. And we're just gonna have to wait and see. I would not buy the dip here. Uh, I would wait at least for a test of this low, uh, but it's interesting because this sell-off did take place on probably lower volume because uh, folks in the United States were asleep at the time. And so the losses were not as great for Bitcoin investors when they woke up. And so psychology might've taken a little bit less of a hit. Now, moving on to uh, GME, uh, it was a very tough week for uh, meme stocks uh, last week. We had AMC dropping over 25%. As you can see, uh, AMC, uh, excuse me, uh, GameStop had its big moment in January when it went up uh, almost to $500. It settled into this quiet pattern, but uh, again, uh, folks are looking for an excuse to uh, sell. And uh, this is at one time, remember, this was about a, this was a single digit stock. Uh, now, uh, uh, G, uh, GME GameStop is scheduled to report earnings on Wednesday, and I think traders may be using that as an excuse to sell it. Keep an eye on the options market because I think the options market could go crazy because a lot of traders who got burned with short positions in uh, the start of 2021 will probably be back uh, hoping that uh, this time uh, they get a very intense sell-off. Okay, moving on, let's take a look at Costco. Costco reports earnings this week as well. Now, Costco is probably the best performing of the big box retailers. Now, the problem is the stock's gained about 40% so far this year. It's come from about, what, right here at the start of the year. It's really beautiful um, uh, uh, uptrend. Uh, the problem is, again, here, it posted an all-time high just about, what's one, two, three, four, five, six sessions ago. Pulled back last week, nothing too intense, uh, but rivals Walmart and Target, and Target especially, which was a very strong performing stock. Both of those stocks are getting sold fairly aggressively now, and I think that trade are just waiting uh, to make it a trio with uh, Costco uh, getting a sell the news reaction, perhaps coming down to this uh, rising trend line breakout below 500. Uh, now, the Spider and the SP500, of course, had, we know it had a bad week, but it wasn't all that bad. Uh, it did come back to this prior high, which is breakout right here, right around the 450 level. Uh, and so it pulled back to this on Wednesday, bounced on Thursday, sold off on Friday. So we have this congested price action right at this prior high. Now we're going to have to wait and see uh, if uh, the spider takes out the low at 450, around 4,500 on the futures market. Uh, we could get this gap filled right here at 430 and drop all the way down to the 200-day moving average right here around the 425 level. Uh, finally, Tesla dropped about 6% last week uh, after posting an all-time it posted an all -time high in November, uh, came up, posted a lower high uh, in uh, November as well, and now it's rolling over. Now, if it comes back to this 975 level, that may complete an Adam and Eve a double top. Now, uh, what can happen after Adam and Eve double top is you can get a breakdown or you get another lower high, and then you sort of have an ascending triangle. So a lot could happen, but they're... Uh, all eyes will be right here at the 50-day moving average and about the uh, 975 to 985 level because if that breaks, I think this gap's going to get filled and we're going to get a, uh, a decline below the 900 level.